YouTube. What's crack a and It is Scott from Semi Pro here, aka the Louis Vuitton Don, aka Carol Baskin Sanity. And today we are going to be talking about a receiver who I think is going to break out in the 2020 NFL season and solidify himself as a legitimate number one option in superstar for the rest of his career. DK Metcalf was drafted as a late second round pick by the Seattle Seahawks in the 2019 draft. Metcalf posted otherworldly combine numbers and ran a 4-3-3-40, an incredible time for a 6-3, 230-pound receiver, and his combine numbers had analysts projecting him as high as the first receiver off the board. So why did Metcalf fall all the way to the back of the second round? Simple, he dealt with two separate season-ending injuries in his freshman and redshirt sophomore years of college, and he has also been criticized for his route running abilities as some say he realized too much upon his size to make contested grabs instead of using his speed to get open. He was just a physical behemoth of a receiver prospect, but he was just so raw and injury prone that it scared teams off a little bit. And boy, do I bet the Seahawks are glad he did fall to them. They nabbed him up, hoping that he would become a complimentary outside receiver to their number one Tyler Lockett, but little did they know that Metcalf would grow into a guy who looks like he could be the number one for this team for years to come. He is just an insane athlete and prospect at the position. His combination of size and athleticism reminds me of my favorite receiver ever, Megatron, and with the tools DK has been gifted with and the QB he has been gifted with, he has the potential to be even greater than Megatron. Metcalf was second among rookies in receptions, yards, and touchdowns. He proved immediately that his health was reliable after appearing in all 16 games and that the negative remarks regarding his route running skills were false. He improved a lot as the season progressed and proved that he could be a legit NFL number one. He exceeded the Seahawks' expectations that he would be a deep jump ball receiver who could do nothing more but open up their playbook and catch 40 to 50 balls a season. Instead, he has shown that he will be quarterback Russell Wilson's number one target for the foreseeable future. This next season will be another step forward for Metcalf as he matures into that number one role for the Seahawks. The Seahawks are a run first offense and they probably always will be as long as Wilson is there, but their efficient running game only helps the receiver. Successful rushes set up play action where Metcalf thrives. The fake handoff reels defense is in and they lose Metcalf as he streaks by them and catches the pass from Wilson. The combination of his elite size and speed makes it extremely difficult for any man coverage to contain him, while his refined route running skills make zone defenses seem helpless when trying to locate him. He has actually developed into a really versatile receiver very, very quickly and surpassed most expectations early on. The rest of this Seahawks receiving core is a bit lackluster on the surface and gets a lot of hate, but everything really isn't as it seems here and they made a couple of good improvements. Tyler Lockett is a great number two, but ideally he's not your number one. And I think this season DK officially takes over that number one spot in the Seahawk passing attack and Tyler can flourish in his number two role. Actually, their games complement each other a lot and they both should put up decent numbers. Besides those two though, this offense actually has some good fringe options. Philip Dorsett will join the squad as a very serviceable wide receiver three, but we do know what he is and it's not like he's gonna all of a sudden pop and be a thousand yard guy this season. He's a very good wide receiver three though. Greg Olson will also join the squad to man the tight end position with Will Disley. This is a decent cast of skill players, but a lot is going to ride on Metcalf and Lockett to carry the load here, and a big step up for Metcalf this season could mean the world for the Seahawks. As he gains the trust of Russell Wilson going into his sophomore campaign, DK Metcalf should see at least 120 targets and catch over 70 balls. He also should break the 1100 yard receiving mark. His size makes him an elite red zone threat, and while double digit touchdown seasons are rare, Metcalf possesses the abilities and the size to achieve that. 
look for him to set the NFL on fire this upcoming season and to solidify himself as the Seahawks' number one option for years to come. If you made it this far in the video and you enjoyed it, do us a favor and click that thumbs up button. It really does help us out a lot. And if you're new to the channel, click that subscribe button because it is free, you will not regret it, and it is awesome. We post daily dope sports content, MLB, NBA, NFL, college sports, anything sports related you want, we have here on Semi-Pro. Also, quick announcement, my partner Ryan has been dropping his videos with the camera setup lately. I will also be joining him in that setup and you will finally get to see my beautiful face, but Amazon has delayed my shipment and everything is not here yet, but I will be getting set up as fast as I can, so thank you for bearing with us. Thank you for watching and have a blessed rest of your day. Psst. P.S. If you're still watching this, drop a comment down below being extremely ridiculous about how Dak Prescott is the best quarterback in NFL history just to make people mad and confuse the hell out of people. Thanks.